Welcome all. Cheryl here on this full wolf moon in Leo. Yeah, Leo the lion with the wolf. Should be interesting later on when uh, we read up about both of their uh, animal spirit energies. Yes, so on this uh, 25th of January, in most places across the world, uh, we are going to release, cease, conclude, yeah, some of our duties, jobs, relationships, contracts, bills, and so on. That's what we do with full moons. And this is the first full moon of 2024, the wolf moon. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the full moon's cycle is uh, being in the full uh, shape, the full shape. Yes, which is a new cycle. High energies uh, are definitely being felt. Uh, yes, for this, I, I have felt it the, the week before. Excuse me for reading. I've just been so busy with things. And uh, yeah, I have to read with my notes. I never had a chance to, uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> practice up on it so I wouldn't have to look at them. Yes. And let us remember that these moon cycles, all of them, the energies usually have a duration of approximately uh, one month, yeah, prior and even after. And I definitely felt it the week before. There was a lot of different energy, like strong Leo energy with some people. And I had to breathe and let them vent. And yeah, <laughs> it was different, that's for sure. Yes, mm-hmm. And this full moon of 2024, uh, yes, refers to the wolf moon, due to wolves howling during a full moon, mm -hmm. and especially in the winter time. Yes, due to the hunger uh, that they have in some areas. Mm -hmm. Howling is also used to locate their pack members, their family. Uh, yeah, reinforce social bonds, define their territory, and aids them when hunting with their pack. Yes. So this full moon is also in the sign of Leo, Leo the lion. Yes. So Leo is with us, and uh, these are the following energies that the Leo has as well. So they are very confident, uh, enjoying being the center of attention, <laughs> some people. Yeah, and uh, they adore uh, drama, some. Ambitious, they are very loyal like the Capricorns, uh, can be very protective of their loved ones like the wolves. Mm -hmm. They can be, uh, they love, excuse me, uh, luxu uh, luxury living and uh, they have a sunny spirit and big hearted energy for sure. And they're brave, uh, yeah, like the lion. Mm -hmm. And the Leo the lion energy is red and that's why I'm wearing red today. And I also got my wolf. Yeah, I got my little wolf on. Yeah, uh, wolf energy, yeah, so. <laughs> Yes, as well. So I got the lion on and I got the wolf with us as well, for sure. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to go on to our prayer and healing time. And before we do that, I am going to, uh, yeah, get ready with the four medicines. I've got white sage here. Yes. Sweet grass. Cedar and uh, the sacred uh, tobacco. Yeah, the four sacred medicines. Yes. And these medicines are very good for cleansing our energies and within our homes and so on. And we were gonna ask for the seven directions to come in as well. I love the smell of this. It's all organic, right, from Mother Earth. And I do thank her when I get these medicines, herbs and medicines, yes, they are, from Mother Earth. Also, I just went and collected some more cedar, so I got more BC cedar. Yeah, British Columbia cedar. Mm-hmm. 
There we go. And that's what's making the noise. <laughs> yes, the cedar. Yeah. Just trying to get it going here. There we go. Mm-hmm. Cleansed myself, but I'm going to cleanse again. Never hurts. Whew. To cleanse a little bit more in front of our body. Mm-hmm. Behind. And don't forget our heart. Our heart as well. Mm-hmm. And our feet. Yes, our feet as well. Mm-hmm. Yes. Sending out the cleansing to you as well, to you and your loved ones. Whew. Only thinking of positive, blessed things right now during prayer and healing time as much as we can. No matter what the prayers are, try to remain in the, that positive, loving state. Yes. Mm -hmm. And if I forget, after we use these medicines and burn them up, it is uh, best, ooh, ooh, beautiful, to give it back to Mother Earth. So let it cool off. Make sure it's totally, yeah, burnt. Yeah. Cool down and then uh, put it beside a tree and give thanks. And even when we are collecting these medicines and herbs, thank that tree thank the earth for bringing these in mother earth for sure mm -hmm. okay so let us bring in um our uh, seven directions so bringing in yep yeah, thank you to the north yes come on in come on in <laughs> and to the south the south behind us yep yeah. Mm-hmm. And to the west. Bringing in those directions. And the east. Yes. And seeing the sun at the end of the day is quite nice, for sure. Near the end of the day, thank you to the east. And is above. Yes. So below. Sure, so below, mm-hmm. And within us, the seven directions. Yeah, within you as well. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm-hmm. There we go. And I'm gonna say my two uh, prayers. Yes, before we begin, yeah. Ah. Please surround us in the white light of Creator God, close for us, our spiritual centers, and also please surround us in your rainbow light of protection. We ask that all negative thoughts, people, or situations be returned back to the universe to be dissipated. Yes, with the holy dove of peace and all thy Christ. Amen. Aho. Namaste, shalom, kadosh, 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 tise beath, and so it is. Creator God, upper powers, ascended masters, healers, passed on loved ones, ancestors, animal, other guides, and angels, please join us today uh, with this cleansing that we just did, prayers and of healing to all mentioned here or that you have in your own you know, in your own soul at this time and bringing it out. If you hear something, it's a little kitty cat in the background. I'm with House Sitters Canada, so I'm taking care of people's homes. Yeah, and their uh, pets or their chickens. And I'm manifesting. Yeah, maybe that'll be the first prayer. Can you pre please, please bring in horses <laughs> or a horse? Yeah, to take care of that. I would be so grateful, yes. So on to the next prayer <laughs> is, uh, yes, let us send out uh, the prayers and healing time with the shift of our countries and the world. 
we do continue to pray for love and peace to you all. Mm -hmm. And may more people awaken to the fifth dimensional shift, which is why a lot of us uh, are going through many things worldwide and in helping many to realize truly what matters for our children, the people, Mother Earth, waterways, airways, creatures, and all animals. Yes, that is what really matters for sure. Love and peace. And let us send out healing energies to Tamara, Tamara Ferguson. I'm going to ask her for her uh, permission to ha to post her telephone number because you don't have to be only in Windsor, Ontario, where she needs in, in desperate need of a liver. She needs a liver transplant. I've been praying so hard. I cannot do that. I have uh, various reasons. Yes, uh, but please bring this in. She needs it like very, very soon. Time is a clicking mm -hmm. for her. Please, Lord, bring in this liver for her because it can be shipped out, right? Could be anywhere. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let us also send out prayers. Uh, yes, for the four Coots men to be freed in Alberta, Canada. Yes. They've been in a remand center, not in jail, in a remand center for two years. Two years. They won't even let them go to court or whichever. And they were standing up for the children, the people, Mother Earth, animals, and so on. That is what they were doing. And we trust you. And I did say a prayer where they will be freed. Oh, please, Lord, let it even happen sooner. Oh, I got goosebumps. God bumps. God bumps. Thank you. I thank you. I got God bumps uh, telling me. Oh, my gosh. Yes, they will be freed. Please, more prayers. Send them in. The four Coots men. C-O-U-T-T-S. Yeah. Where uh, this thing that went down in Alberta, Canada. They're beautiful people. And also to Granny Margaret, Granny Margaret, uh, who's been standing up for them. And there's more and more people standing up coming in. Chris Scott, yes, of Alberta. And even uh, Tucker Carlson is going to Edmonton, Alberta. In, uh, yep, yeah, uh, the day before. Yes, this full moon. Yes. We thank you all and all of us who stand up for all of these people, animals, so on, Mother Earth. And doing it with love and peace and harmony. Also sending out uh, prayers uh, to Mitch of Calgary, Alberta. Yeah, to uh, locate a new place for him to reside for his safety organics and love and he loves helping so many people as well he loves helping the help the, the uh, homeless and so on and he was there at uh, one time and he truly knows how it feels we do send it out to all the homeless people and the people uh, that are on uh, have addictions and whatnot we're always praying for you as well Please let our country stand up for these people and protect them, especially when it is so cold. Give them homes to stay in, please. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> a prayer of mine, uh, yeah, I'll put it public. Uh, Lord, please let this engine light on my van be a minimal issue. And I'm still driving around with it because I can't get in to see a mechanic to find out what it is until February the 5th. Let my baby caravani be okay as I'm driving her around occasionally when I have to. Yes, until we resolve this issue. Yes. And also, can you rid the rats? 
get rid of the rats. <laughs> Yeah, around my van and many people's vehicles here on Vancouver Island. Yeah, they, Alberta's got a lot of mice that come around our vehicles to stay warm. And then on the island, which I didn't know, rats. And the closer we are to the waterways, the bigger the rats are, like the size of a cat. Really? Mm-hmm. So, <laughs> let us send out those prayers as well. And uh, yeah, we truly say thank you. Mm -hmm. And to your prayers, prayers as well. Please put them below. You don't have to put people's last names. Yeah. And I truly appreciate all of you subscribing. I got actually three more subscribers today. Yeah, I'm so truly, truly grateful. And uh, yeah, when you make comments, I love that. And shares, even if you would like to share my video, it will help build this where I can, uh, you know, send a more healing and whatnot. Speaking of that, Tamara Ferguson, I will be doing an online uh, healing treatment with her. And she is, uh, I'm just stirring around the, uh, the medicines that are burning. Uh, yes, so you can send healing uh, across, really, miles and miles and countries away. That is how powerful it is. Jesus wasn't the only one who could send prayers and healing. Remember that all. We are stronger than we remember. Mm -hmm. Amen. Oho. Namaste. Shalom. Kadosh, Kadosh, Kadosh. Tisibeth. And so it is. As above so below yes mm -hmm. so why don't we find out what the wolf energy is about on this full you know wolf moon and then in the sign of leo we're going to find out about the wolf and the lion mm -hmm. yes and i should read through because i gotta get going soon there's a gathering of people that I must meet. Yes. Mm -hmm. So let us find out about the wolf. And I love wolves. I, I don't know why. I just do. And I will see why. I think it's because they're very family orientated. They're loyal. We'll find out. Let's remember. And it is from the spirit animals. Yeah. Stephen Farmer. Thank you so much, Stephen Farmer. Yes. The wolf. The wolf energy characteristics and behaviors that no longer serve your spiritual purpose are being called, being pulled away from your consciousness. How? I haven't read this in a while. Make cooperation and priority uh, over competition now. Valuable insights, ideas, and new teachings are coming your way, our way. So pay close attention. It is important to maintain your self-esteem and integrity and deeply trust in your inner knowing, even when you feel misunderstood or misaligned. You're being spiritually and psychically protected at all times. So there's really no need to fear. How wonderful. The good old wolf. Yes. Aww. Love you, wolf energy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And now let us read up on the lion energy. Mm -hmm. Leo the lion. Leo the lion. Look at you, little lion. Yeah, Leo the lion. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hold your head up high and keep your dignity no matter what you're being faced with. You're much stronger than you think you are and need to use your emotional strength in this situation or what's coming up right uh, presently or even in the future call upon the well of courage that's available to you to confront this uncomfortable situation listen closely and discern carefully before acting rather than moving ahead impulsively or recklessly when faced with a tough decision Follow your heart rather than what you think you should do. How beautiful, lion energy. Yeah. 
thank you for the messages with these two animal spirit guides with us yeah and take care during this full moon all yes and uh yeah happy 2024 i still say it till the end of january yeah blessings all and uh keep nature with